What's up, Titans fans? Josh Gordon is visiting with the Tennessee Titans. And actually, I already filmed the video, but before we pushed it out, this news literally just happened. So coming up here, you're going to see some other updates around Racy McMath, which is maybe why the Titans are bringing in Josh Gordon. It's just another reason, y'all, to hit that sub button and turn on those notifications. What's going on, Titans fans? It's Mitchell Renz from Chat Sports. And coming up here on today's show, we're going to do a rundown of the entire Titans practice squad, all 17 players. Yes, 17 players. But before we get into that, we got to cover some news here. There's been a report out there that Racy McMath might have to end up on the IR. We'll keep you up to date as soon as we get any new stories, new updates. I promise you, we'll make a video about it. So what do you need to do? You need to hit that subscribe button. You need to turn on those notifications. Tickle that notification bell. Make sure you click all so when we drop a video, you know. And we have been chasing down 5K subs can we get there by week one? I'm going to challenge you because I believe in you. Only 352 more to go. So let's now get into this Titans practice squad here. The NFL, okay, the usual rules, it's 16 players to each team's practice squad. But because of the Tennessee Titans, they have the international exemption player. They're allowed to have 17. In terms of some of the practice squad rules, often here at Chat Sports, we get asked, hey, how many guys can you bring up every week? How many times can that player be brought up every week? Well, guess what? Practice squad players may be elevated for game day a max of three times. We're also going to run through how much money some of these guys get. We're going to go through a lot of practice squad rules. So if you want to take some notes, I don't blame you, or just take a few screenshots. So let's look at some NFL practice squad rules. Players with no NFL experience, so zero cured seasons, players who were active for fewer than nine games during their only cured season. These are players who can be on the practice squad. Up to 10 players may have more than two cured seasons, and then up to six players may be signed without limitation on earned seasons. Younger practice squad players are set to make 11500 a week this year, while players with over two years of experience in the league will have a weekly salary of 15400 that equates to 207000 or 277200 for the 18-week regular season. That salary is not guaranteed, meaning a practice squad player can be released at any time, and that salary does count against a team's cap. Veteran minimum salary is set at 15400 a week this year, while the veteran max is set at 19900 a week. That equals 277200 or 358200 for the 18-week regular season. That salary is not guaranteed, just like I said with the last one. Teams are allowed to poach players from another team's practice squad if they are signing them to the active roster. A team can sign a player from their next upcoming opponent's practice squad, but it must be done six days before the game or 10 days if it is during the bye week. Teams can also protect up to four players on their practice squad to prevent them from being poached, though that goes into effect on Tuesday each week, so a player a team wants to protect could still get signed by another team on Monday. I know that was a lot to break down, but hey, that's why you subscribe. We're just here to keep you guys up to date. So that means, I know, let's get into it, right? Let's look at the Titans practice squad as it stands right now that I am filming this video. You got your quarterback, Logan Woodside, which I'm actually not too surprised by because if you've watched the show multiple times, you know I'm a big fan of Malik Willis. I think he should have been drafted in the first round, if I'm being 100% honest with y'all. The fact that he fell as far as he did. Ryan Tanhill should be a little bit nervous because Malik's got a lot of athletic ability. He's got a good arm, high upside. Yes, absolutely still a very raw product, but I see this Titans offense actually – Honestly, it might be better with Malik in a year or two. That's all I'm going to say. But what do you think, y'all? Should Woodside have been cut? Why for yes and for no? I go down in the comments section after I make videos, and I said that I thought Malik was going to be the QB too, but I also saw a lot of people were saying, no, it should still be Logan Woodside. It's all good. So let me know, y'all. Should Woodside have been cut? Why for yes and for no? Let's go to the next practice squad player here. It's Trenton Cannon running back, and again, you're just looking for some extra depth, God forbid, if anything happens to some of your starters or your main starter, Derrick Henry. Wide receiver position, Reggie Robertson Jr. And when you look at some of his numbers from the preseason, it's not too, too flashy. But when I watch preseason games, I like to see players who get opportunities to take the most of those opportunities. 
And if you're targeted five times, you're bringing four grabs at 47 yards, okay, it's not too bad. I do think that the Titans have some good players to watch out for. Reggie Robertson, though, don't know how many times he gets brought up this upcoming season. Let's go to another wide receiver here. It's Mason Kinsey. And kind of like what I said about Robertson, Kinsey, the Titans gave a lot of opportunities too. And when you go to the preseason, if I was a head coach, if I was Mike Vrabel, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I want to see what some of these players have, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to target them more. So the more targets a player gets, I personally think is the coach's staff saying, earn it, earn that spot. Five catches, 48 yards on 12 targets were his preseason stats. And then probably the receiver that I like the most on the practice squad is Des Fitzpatrick. And he saw 11 targets, had five grabs, 62 yards. Overall upside, I believe Fitzpatrick has the most. And when I first started talking about in the early show there with Racy McMath, let's just say he goes to the IR and he's going to be out a few weeks, then if I had to choose between those three receivers of who I want to bring up to the main roster, I'm going to bring up Des Fitzpatrick. But maybe you guys disagree with me. Let's go to the tight end now, David Wells. And a lot of the tight ends in this group, Wells is more of a blocker. And then Thomas here, he's kind of the exact same thing. Tennessee brought in Austin Hooper overall. He's going to be your main guy. Also, Chig, who you drafted out of Maryland, he's also going to be your other main pass catcher. Also, the fact that you decided to keep Jeff Swain as well. So, you got your three main tight ends in there. You just need a little bit of depth at the practice squad. Jordan Ruth, you kept him on your offensive line, which offensive line is absolutely a area of concern, as you did Rupchick here. So, these players mean maulers, not a lot of overall talent. Xavier Newman-Johnson, another offensive lineman that the Tennessee Titans decided to keep on the roster. And we're going to continue to break down all of the other Titans practice squad players. But how about this, man? I want you to name an offensive player that they left off the list. Because when you follow the teams as close as we do, and I'm sure you all are in the exact same boat, right? Where you're following the team. You watch the preseason games, you know, follow the practice reports, and you start to fall in love with the guys. I get it, man. I totally do. So what I want you to do is name an offensive player they left off the list. So this is why you should subscribe to Titans today. Hit that sub button. Turn on those notifications. I'm a competitive dude. I hate losing. And anytime I'm in a competition, I'm going to give it my all. If this doesn't fire you up a little bit to see that Titans today is right now the bottom feeder of Chat Sports YouTube channels, it should. It should light a fire underneath your butt. And since the Vikings made a trade today for Jalen Rager, I can already guarantee you this. That number is going to go up a lot more. So let's catch them. Hit that sub button. We're going to keep it going here now on the defensive side of the football for some Titans practice squad players. Jaden Peavy on the defensive line. Also, I'm just going to be real with y'all. I try to pronounce his name. It's Sam. He's on the defensive line. Y'all can do it. Laurel Murchison, another defensive lineman for Tennessee. When you look at this defense running the 3-4, I personally would like to find some more defensive linemen that can not only be on the defensive end, but that can also be defensive interior guys. At linebacker, Joe Jones. Sure, it's a basic name, but he is actually one of your better defensive players on this practice squad. Keep it rolling here with the linebacker position, David and Hine. He's another interesting prospect overall. Theo Jackson, a defensive back that I actually kind of liked when he was first coming out of Tennessee overall. And in 2021, when you look at some of his numbers here, 78 tackles, nine tackles for loss, half or one of the half sacks, one pick on 11 pass breakups. And then to round out the list, it's Chris Jackson, another defensive back here in terms of some Titans practice squad players. So I know offense, defense, which defensive player did we, or I guess the Titans, ultimately leave off the list? That's what Chat Sports content is all about. We want to know what you guys have to say, so please let us know in the comments. Tennessee Titans practice squad. Let's run through all the names real quick here. So when you look at some of the players on the offensive side of the football, it's Logan Woodside, who definitely lost the job to Malik Willis in terms of being the backup quarterback to Ryan Tannehill, Trenton Canton. He's an interesting prospect. He's bounced around a few NFL teams, but again, at the end of the day, man, um, not too much going on with him. Reggie Robertson, Mason Kinsey, Des Fitzpatrick. Personally, out of all three of those wide receivers, the name that I like the most was Fitzpatrick. Tight ends, David Wells, and then Thomas. On your offensive line, it's Jordan Rue, Andrew Rupchick, and then Xavier Newman-Johnson. Let's head on over now to the defensive side of the football for the Titans practice squad. Jaden Peavy. 
And then you got Laurel Murchison, Joe Jones. Then from your linebackers and your defensive back group, David and high Theo Jackson and Chris Jackson. That's going to round out the Titans practice squad. If you made it this far in the video and you're a real one, all I want you to do right now is spam real one because people who look up practice squad players, those are real ones as far as I'm concerned. So please type real one down in the comments.